Welcome! Today, um, we have Rivsund's Distilleries, Brenneberga Gin. Uh, I have tried one of the gins at, uh, I met them sometimes uh, at the fairs. And they have an awesome gin with uh, cloudberry that is cask age. Um, and it was delicious. But I have been looking um, to get some of the different gins for a while now. And finally, I bought one. Uh, well, I ordered more, but we start with Brennebera, and this is a raspberry licorice gin, and uh, I bought this because I want to make a cocktail that my fiance like. She doesn't like gin, but I think she will be thrilled with this cocktail I will do in part two, uh, because she likes uh, licorice and raspberry. Um, but without further ado, let's pop this one up and see how it is. See if we can get into this one. Almost. Mm. Like that? So let's pop Ribson's Distillery. Brennebergia Raspberry Licorice Gin and Rivsunds is awesome people to meet uh, they are located further up north in Sweden mm. You get some raspberry notes, some juniper, but also some angelica roots uh, that's coming through. But let's give it a go. Oh, sorry, but I have lost a single straw from my beard in the glass. Hmm. Luckily, it's just me that's going to sip. Very um, subtle notes of the licorice, a bit more of the raspberry, but great combination of licorice and raspberry, but you have a but, there's no but, but great juniper flavor to it. You get some um, um, fennel, and maybe some coriander seeds in it. I was afraid when when I smelled the angelica root, but no, nope, there was no worries there. The licorice comes through more and more after a few sips. Really delicious gin. I think that this one will be awesome in the cocktail that I will do. Uh, but that one you have to follow for part two. So stay tuned, follow for part two, and take care, and we'll see you.